My name is Helen Davis. I'm an employee of the DeWitt District Library, and I'm reading Consuela and uh, Elva Vanderbilt by Amanda Mackenzie Stewart. Uh, it's a combined biography of the two women, mother and daughter. Uh, Elva was the mother, and she was raised in a fairly comfortable but still rather obscure Southern family. Uh, met her husband in Newport, Rhode Island uh, when the family summered there. And she managed to marry the grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt, who had, of course, been the one to make the immense fortune. Um, she found her stride in building beautiful homes. This was 1880 to 1900, when women didn't really have much of a role other than to be a decorative companion. But uh, she found her niche in building some gorgeous homes. Uh, the sources the author used, she realized that um, this woman was really only happy when she was involved with a big project. Uh, one of the best known homes is the Marble Cottage in Newport, which is a wonderful home, private home to tour. Um, now she arranged a marriage, her daughter, Consuela, to the Duke of Marlborough, who was actually the head of the family that Winston Churchill was a member of. She felt that as an English woman, her daughter would have more ability to use her talents by being possibly a political hostess. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a happy marriage. But both these women managed to have remarkable lives. Uh, what was very interesting was at the end of the book, they both became involved in it, finally in something more meaningful than just a society role. And got a, a, in particular, it was remarkable how involved Elva got in women's emancipation issues.